Hello and welcome to the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City and they take Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Rodri. De Bruyne. Able to get a body in the way. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Strength and control, a big part of his game. He's protecting it well. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Silva. Every pass hitting its target. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. A good and fair challenge. Declan Rice. It's with Erdogan. And moving the ball nicely. Havertz. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Good looking sequence. Rice. Using a strip. Can he put them in front? Terrific block there. Havertz. And here's Partey. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Silva. The ball with Rodri. Holland. Foden. Holding it up, waiting for support to arrive. Holland. Here's De Bruyne. Timely intervention. Havertz. Saka. And promising stuff from Arsenal. But nothing comes of it. And City get the throw in. Gvardiol. The ball with Rodri. Holland. Now with Grealish. Foden. Can he finish? Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. 
They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did and that's the result. The game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Well, that is how to play advantage. A oh, wonderful bit of skill. Kai Havertz. And well, he stopped them in their tracks. Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Holland Just cutting off the supply. De Bruyne. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Well, Arsenal unable to hang on to the ball. Silva. The ball with Rodri. Back with Silva. Rodri. Must score! Really good diving save. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. The corner kicks keep on coming. <laughs> Not the best clearance. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. Well, a little lucky to get away without a card. Might be his last warning, though. And he takes it on! Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Martin Odegaard. So nearing the break, and City hold the edge. Stuart, how about your critique of what they put into the game so far? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent, but any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Blocking it. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden now. Holland. Well, shielding the ball admirably. De Bruyne. The supporters want to see him have a go. that was begging to be put home but the goalkeeper has it Bukayo Saka well, totalling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes Martin Odegaard and just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception and the flag does go up, must have been tight. And using his strength to shield the ball. And that is going to be all for the first 45 then, here at the Etihad Stadium.
Well, a lot to like about Bernardo Silva and his performance so far. What have you made of it? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. So into the second half and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them. doing a fine job of protecting the ball Rice moving the ball nicely trying to carve out the equaliser Marcinelli he read the situation defensively and did his job Erling Haaland Given away by City. Martin Odegaard. Kai Havertz. And fed forwards. Havertz. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Rodri he has teammates around him Grealish and a goal it is for Manchester City they are the team on course for victory well just look at his strength here he holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the ball rolling again, and 2-0. Martin Odegaard. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Absolutely. And looking to try to take advantage of the possession here. It's a perfect challenge. Ruben Dias. Now we're into the final half hour. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Vardiol. The ball with Rodri. Diesch. Now that's a well-timed pass. De Bruyne. Here's Bernardo Silva. Manchester City have lost the ball. Saka effective work from Arsenal to regain possession Partey a wonderful intervention City finding space on the flank but timely defending when it mattered not giving him a moment's peace. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Holland. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. 
Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Holland, Rodri, well read to put an end to that attack. Now options are plenty. Grealish. Well, it all counts for naught. Gabriel Jesus. Marcinelli. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Said he did well to win it back. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, lovely ball. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Well, that's so tight, isn't it? But on this occasion, he doesn't get the benefit of the doubt. Oh, he's given us away. Declan Rice. Parte. Martinelli. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Holland. Really good challenge. Jack Grealish Martinelli oh, doesn't seem to be too much on that offside decision substitution then let's see how it affects the match number 20 Jorginho Stones. The ball with Rodri. Grealish. Now with Walker. And options in the centre. Walker. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Gabriel Martinelli. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And holding the ball up in a decent position. And they have possession again. Kevin De Bruyne. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Silva. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Martinelli. Corner awarded to Arsenal. Yeah. Trying to pick out a teammate. It hasn't come to very much. Jorginho. So the referee's whistle means full time and it goes into the books as a defeat for Arsenal. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out.
Well, it truly was a fantastic performance from Bernardo Silva. Stuart, I wonder what in particular caught your eye. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.